Hey guys, it's Chris here from Chris's Creative Life and I design workshops that help you create beautiful layouts from start to finish with easy to follow guides. Okay, who is ready for this week's theme? So I think this is going to be a fun one. It is, um, we're going with the Flower Shop Week theme. So let me just share this over to my classroom and we will get started. So I'm taking a pattern that I have taught before, but there is a downloadable PDF for it if you would like it. And um, I'm going to use some of, like I said, some of the products, hey Dorothy, some of the products from the flower shop special for VIPs. So this is one of those exclusive specials that they have um, put out for, um, hey Loretta, um, for VIPs. So if anybody doesn't know about the VIP program, at the end I can um, add a link at the bottom so you can read out read more information about it it's just about to come up on its one year anniversary which is super exciting um, and they've got some different things in store for um, like the one year anniversary um, time frame there's a second um, exclusive product that's being released which the name is escaping me at the moment, but that's okay. Um, but it is a birthday themed paper pack and stamp set. And I don't have mine yet. It uh, should be coming soon. But so if you don't have the PDF for this card and you'd like it, if you comment card, I'll send you in the right direction for the PDF. So included, I'm going to just shoot you down off my desk because you don't need to see me anymore, really. Um, here we go. Nope, wrong way. <laughs> okay, one second. I have to back out. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need to swap cameras. There we go. You guys got up close for there for a while. Okay. So there is a PDF download for this um, card. Like I said, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Um, and there is a design space file for it. So the PDF does have the design space link. You'll like have to copy and paste it. I own oh, no way, I think it comes second. But it does have the stars because this was the version that I created the design space file for. So if you don't want the stars, like I'm not using the stars today, I'm going to use some flowers, that thin cut flower that goes so well with this um, collection. Just hide the stars and it won't cut it, okay? Um, so here we go. Okay, so I'm going to tell you right away I had to get creative to make this work, but... So for whoever hasn't seen the flower shop special, it's a box, a card box. It comes with cards, envelopes, a stamp set. We're gonna use the stamp set today. There's little banners and then these pre-printed cards, right? And they are printed on the front and on the back. So we're gonna take advantage of the fact that um, they're printed on the front and the back today. And um, I'm just going to create my card and we'll have some fun here. Okay, so I'll just show you a few of the other cards that I've created just to show you how versatile this is. So like here's a birthday card I created, a few birthday cards. These are from last year. <coughs> oh my goodness. Um, then I did a shaker version, which was super cute. A shaker version would also look very good with the um, flower shop products. And then I did a super cute Christmas one. Can never have too many Christmas or start too early, right? It sneak totally sneaks up on you. I can't believe that it's almost like the middle of October already, which is just like crazy. I think um, because it was so warm here, it didn't feel like it was really happening. 
Okay, so I'm gonna show you here. So on here are all the measurements. Like I said, there is a design space link. If you wanna use it, you might have, like I said, alter it if you don't want the stars, but it cuts out all the pieces, including a card front. But I am going to use just a white card front, card base, and today from like our value pack, okay? So I took one of the decorative card bases, like this, right? And we're gonna try and get some more cards out of it. So I have cut it in half, and then I trimmed it. Sorry, the white is going to make it kind of funny. I'm gonna try and keep lots of color here. So it's crooked just because it shifted while it was on my table. But so I took the card front and cut it to four by five and a quarter. And then I attached it to the base and ran it through my thin cut. So like I said, you can do this with a thin cut or you can cut it out with design space. So this is the largest circle. And I love when you can do something quickly with a thin cut and not have to worry about Cricut or if you're doing lots of them, then you can use your Cricut, right? So this is basically how it looks when it goes through the die cutting machine, right? Just like this, you lay it right on top, crank it through, just make sure you're putting your window where you want it. I'm gonna save this for another card later. I'm gonna save this for another card later. I could actually cut it down to be the two and a half inch circle for my sentiment if you wanted to save but I obviously pre-cut one okay so I don't know why I'm having struggling with space and we just have a card on my table today okay oi, oi, oi. okay I'm gonna move this out of the way but like I said it does actually tell you all the measurements on there just in case I misspeak, because sometimes I forget what I'm doing when I am going live. Okay, so we did card base, cut out our circle. We have our panel for our front. I have a liner for the inside because I cut, oh, it's not gonna like the short bread. So I cut a short bread Z fold to go on the inside to coordinate with the decorative card that I picked. And these measurements, like I said, are on the sheet. But that's why I needed to cut a white liner, right? So that I would be able to stamp a message or write a greeting on this part, right? So, and then I cut a piece of rosemary also to coordinate with that same card that I picked. We're gonna put this as this little piece here. And I think I called it a panel on the PDF with the measurements, okay? Then we have a circle for our sentiment. And then this is that three inch circle. I cut it out of this card front right here. And so when I did this, I decided to target the middle of this card front because then I could play around with outside edges if I wanted to create another card with it, right? You could take this, and like you might not add white to it, but you could add a panel and create still a card with this part because nobody then would see underneath where I cut my hole out, right? So um, while I was playing around though, you'll notice this one is big. So this is the three inch circle. And then I cut the two and a half inch out of this side. And I thought I would just show you another use if you changed this three inch circle to be decorative, you could use this as the decoration on the front of your card, if it coordinated, right? So I just am playing to try and get the most out of the card bases as we go. Okay, so let's start creating and we'll see what happens here. You guys know you're gonna see, like I said, those um, flowers all year long. So, the flower thin cuts I'm talking about. Okay, so card base with the circle cut out of it and card front. So I'm just going to 
score it. Fold it. Okay. And I've already figured out what we're going to do later this week. Okay, so now you can see still my panel will fit right back on, right? So I'm just going to add my adhesive and add it to my card front. I'm going to use the stamp that comes with the kit. We just have to decide what we're going to say on this card. So it's kind of fun. There's like a scripty font and then just a plain um, printed font. And they're just on a little bit of an angle because there's the banners that also come for just decorating your card. So I'm going to show you a way you can use that too. So here is our panel and I've just pre-scored it. And like I said, the measurements are all on the PDF, so you don't have to worry about it. Okay, and this is shortbread. So I used shortbread, rosemary, and wisteria to coordinate with this card front. So it is folded, and I'm just going to now adhere this to the inside of my card base. I'm trying to use up all the ends of my Tombow. Okay, so this is designed to just be slightly smaller than the card base. So you've got like that one eighth of an inch border all the way around, just so that when your card is closed, you can't actually see that fun little liner. It's meant to be like a surprise. So now, where's my big circle? Here it is. Okay, so I have my three inch circle here that I've cut. Okay, so I'm gonna add this to the front. So while the card is closed, I'm only gonna add adhesive onto this half of the circle so that nothing gets stuck, right? You don't wanna add adhesive over here and then stick your circle down and then you won't be able to open your card. Right, so I am just adding adhesive on this part of the circle. Okay, and then this one, the piece that I cut out has this super cute little vine. So I thought it kind of went really well with this pattern card front. So, like I say all the time, just because something is designed one way, you do not need to keep it like that. So now, when you open the card, we have this fun, oh, you know what? I forgot to add this panel. Oh, you guys. Okay, well, no, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna take it back off, and hopefully I did not add too much. Okay, so this is this gives us an opportunity to use that new paper crafting tool. There we go. That just will pretend like I meant for that to happen. So I'm just sliding it under the adhesive, okay, and it's got a thin end like that. So I'm just kind of sliding it under, and eventually I'll just gently be able to twist it off. Now you can see there's all my adhesive there, so I will have to add more adhesive, but that's okay, we'll get it. Look on the way it's supposed to look. Okay, there we go. Now, <laughs> we'll close the front again and add our adhesive here. And you don't have to add that inside panel if you don't want to, but I had already shown it to you and I thought it went well, so I thought we'll just go back and do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure my little vines are going in the right direction again. And they fit right back into that circle, just like that. 
Okay. So yes, these are super pretty. You can leave them just the way they are, but why not have some fun with them too, right? So now when it opens, it opens just like this, okay? So we will add that panel to the inside for us to write our message. Maybe we'll add another thin cut flower in there too. We'll just see when we get the front together. So you could also, if you wanted, put this on the inside, if you wanted to decorate the inside of the card like that, and you just put it behind the little circle and it's there to decorate, right? And you could then write your message underneath. You could keep it like that or just leave it plain. Or like I said, if my card front would be a little bit different, you could use it just to decorate the card front just like that, right? So let's pick a sentiment. Okay, so I do have a two and a half inch circle for the front. You could also pick one of your banners if you wanted. So if I was gonna use this on the front versus a sentiment, you could pick one of the coordinating banners here. So they all just have a little bit of a color coordinated line on them. And you could just stamp your sentiment here and put this on the front just like that, right? Or you could add this to the inside if you wanted, just for if you wanted to add like a sentence, a second sentiment, or if you were using the panel on the front, right? So, but I am gonna pick something off this stamp set here. Let's do. Mm -hmm. So there's thinking of you, happy birthday, hello friend, thank you, best wishes, happy birthday, congratulations, just because, and you're the best. Okay, so I just want to see here. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to decide where to put this on my front. So I'm gonna peel it off and add it to a block. So I'm just gonna lay, I think I'm gonna use this happy birthday. Okay, I have not used this yet, so we're gonna season it. I'm just rubbing it on my skin. I need my ink. So you could use a coordinating color, or I'm, I'm just gonna use black, cause I've got black in the background. And then, so for the layered um, flowers, so I have, I, I always cut extra, you guys know that, cause I love this one so much. So I have here, I'm gonna use the rosemary leaves. I think we're gonna go like that. And I'm gonna cut this one off. And then I have used here, so I have wisteria. Sorry, the tray's getting the glare from the light. So wisteria and shortbread, and I also have black. So I just glued some things together and we're gonna see here. But I think I'm gonna use this one. Okay, so I'm gonna keep on. So that's what I was just trying to decide here. Where I wanted to put my sentiment. So because it opens, I can play around with that flower and I think I'm gonna do the happy birthday right about there. So I'm just gonna stamp it once to make sure that it's good on a little scrap piece of paper. Just like so. So the VIP program is kind of nice because for everything you purchase, you get a credit back into your close to my heart um, bank account, basically. So 
It's like getting a discount without too much effort. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go like three quarters of the way up here. There we go. So I have that fun, scripty little happy birthday there. I always need birthday cards. Birthday cards and thank you cards. So I'm gonna leave this flat on here and adhere it. Like, I mean, versus um, adding 3D foam to it. So. There we go. And then, like I said, I think we're gonna go with this one. And I'm gonna use this one and I'm gonna cut that one off. So I'm just gonna follow the line, right? And then I actually have another leaf if I need to tuck it in somewhere else. So because this is a little more delicate than the flower, I'm just gonna run it right along the edge there. So I'm gonna add my glue. So I'm just running it right along the edge of the um, circle here. Okay. So I'm just making sure that when I add it, these leaves are on my card front and not hanging over okay and if I need to I can add more adhesive underneath the leaves so then I'm gonna add this here so now you have to remember the trick is because this opens you don't want to add adhesive on that part of the flower, right? So I know from like here to here is where I can add adhesive. So just like that. Now I don't want to put it down back upside down. Cause that's what I did. I think the last time I taught this card, I'm like, yeah, don't put glue here. And then I glued my front down. So there you go. So there's no adhesive here and it just sits like that over top of the circle. Okay. So now I just need to decide here what I'm going to do. So because I have that rosemary there, I don't want to hide it too much. So I am though going to adhere this one here. So I did, you guys know I love liquid glass, but I did with these flowers use the Tombow Mono liquid glue just because sometimes if you want to play with the flowers and give them a little bit more dimension, which would be totally something I would do on a card front, right? Uh, maybe not necessarily like this because it's not very big, but I find that this, when it's dry, is just a little bit more pliable than adding like um, uh, liquid glue liquid glass because liquid glass dries hard, right? So you get almost like that crack effect, like crack, like breaking glass. So I'm just trying to decide if we'll add it up here or over here. But maybe we will go like that. Like, oh, how pretty is that? Okay, I just need some thin 3D foam tape. So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add that leaf up over there. Okay. 
So because they're already like a uh, super decorated card front or card based or however you want to look at them, I don't think it really probably needs very much to dress it up here. So I'm just, I pulled out some gold loose sequins and I think that's all we're going to do. So the fun, like I said, the fun part is you could literally decorate all the way around if that's what you wanted to do. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue on here and tuck that in. So you'll never know that it's just part left over. So, and then I have more left for my next project. So then if you had something, a larger set birthday sentiment that you wanted to use on the inside, you have all the room. Or like I said, you could use this piece or one of those banners if you wanted to write more of a message. Okay, so we're just going to add our gold sequins and we can call this one done. So, okay, here are my glue dots. You guys, I, like I said, I have no idea why I seem to be struggling with this space today because I actually have like way less on my table than I normally do. So I am just going to Oh, maybe we should add some clear shimmer brush. So I'm just going to add some clear shimmer brush on this big flower back here. And then I'm going to add some on this one too. And then we'll add our sequins. If you wanted, you could add more on the inside of the flowers. I just wanted to keep them like kind of simple because like I said, everything else in the cart on the cart front has lots of decoration. So I know that you, this, the camera totally does not do it justice, but that clear shimmer brush just adds something super pretty there. Okay, so let's add our sequins. So I'm just gonna dump a few sequins into my lid here. And I'm gonna use my pickup tool. And I'm gonna pick up like, look how fun that is. How easy is that? I, this one especially looks like a spider. You should see the negative space. Let me see if I still have it here. Oh, I don't. It must have, it was lower in the pile. But I had all the centers sitting here from this big one because I cut several of them out at the same time and that's exactly what it looked like was a pile of spiders on the corner of my desk this is my favorite flower for sure out of all of them i really like the big one but i do love this little flower so two Um, these flowers would look super cute with just like um, before when I've done piles of um, loose sequins in them too. Especially I think this one because it would really then highlight these stripes here. So I don't have a second black one like that but maybe I'll do it later this week. But I picked a different color palette for what I'm going to do later this week because 
There's definitely like a few color palettes within this special. Um, the like you can kind of group the cards by color palette. So I decided that later in the week I would go with something really quite different. So there we go. So like I said, just because something is set up one way, you guys know you don't have to leave it like that. So here's the card and what we have as a final result there. And then don't forget if you, just because it's designed for cards too, I used it and created it, um, a scrapbooking layout for it. So I thought I would just quickly show you again. Um, the pages because from the pages you would also never assume that these are card fronts right so here is the card and it's back here on this layout right so here is layout number one and I created SVGs for um, this workshop so there were four custom SVGs for the workshop. Here's layout number two. So you can kind of get a sense of the color families, right? Because that's how I broke it out for the layouts. And here is a layout number three. So they're all like double page spreads. And then layout number four so this was super fun it was a super it was a challenge for me but I really had a blast doing it so that is kind of what I've got for you guys today so like I said I will come back right now and add the links for anybody that doesn't have the downloadable PDF let me switch this again and I will see you guys later for another installment of flower shop week later this week so have a great day guys and we'll talk to you later if you have any questions feel free to ask and um, like I said I'll drop the link right away bye guys <laughs>